record straight. You and me, we ain't nothing alike. Let's set the record straight. Those words you say, they hold no way they like. Let's set the record straight. You'll never break the man before. Hello everyone and welcome back to another die cast review, a custom die cast review actually. This is Johnny Sodder's 2021 Charlotte race version. Now a lot of people actually forgot about this crash, so if you don't know what happened, I don't remember who spun, but somebody spun, and Sodder kind of collected, or he, like he kind of sideswiped that entire truck, and it just destroyed his car. Now, what I mean by destroyed... I mean, <laughs> destroyed. Both tires were gone on the right side. The whole side was gone for the most part. So yeah, we'll definitely take a look at that here in a little bit. So that was a very, uh, very gnarly crash nonetheless. Now I do want to get this out of the way just real quick. I did not make this template. I do not know who owns the template. Uh, but this is just, you know, for a little custom project. You know, nothing crazy. I don't, again, if I knew who was actually the owner of it or the maker, I would actually credit, but I can't do that because I don't know who it is. But anyway, I did actually kind of goof on this truck because uh, the paint scheme itself is a like a light gray. For whatever reason, my stupid self painted the truck silver, and I don't know why. So you will see some silver pieces kind of shining through, but I uh, try to avoid that. I'm like Mainly it's on the roof here. You can kind of see, but it's not terrible, but it's kind of terrible at the same time. This thing doesn't even have a splitter. Like, I mean, I took the splitter completely off, so I don't... Oh, there's a piece of glue or something. Uh, but, yeah, so, <laughs> this truck's uh, pretty messed up for the most part. Now, I was at the Charlotte race, but I was not at the truck race. I was only at the cup race for the Coke 600. Uh, so, yeah, I, I just missed this by a few days. But anyway, uh, let's see, we got Tinda right there. Uh, I can't tell what that first word is. Is it, can I, I don't know, there's no way to, yeah, I can't tell what that is. So that's Pet Care and Products. I can't really read the first word because uh, it's kind of, it's kind of covered in a bunch of race wear. Speaking of, as you can see, this thing was completely dirtied up. It's try it tried to like recreate any damage or anything and it was just like super torn up. So it was really kind of hard to tell. But yeah, there's the front end of what's left of it. Got the special Camping World, uh, not playoffs, but the uh, Salutes banners, I guess you can call them. Which is weird, because I didn't know the Camping World ones were black instead of white. So I actually had to make these myself. So here's what I was kind of talking about earlier with the silver. You can see 13 is a like a gray outline, or like a gray block. And then you got the silver up here for whatever reason, because I don't know why, I just decided to paint it silver instead of a light gray for whatever stupid reason, but you know, I tried to cover that up with some race wear, and I think it only somewhat passed for the most part. Got solder right there, it is missing a spoke, now it would have two of these, uh, but the reason was, I went to, I don't remember where I went, I think I went to my girlfriend's house for a couple days, and then when I came back, uh, you know, my beautiful cat Athena, uh, the demon that she is, I had these projects, because, like, normally I'll, I'll take these out, and then I'll put them in, like, the cockpit area, and I'll kind of have them, like, loosely put together, so, you know, everything's together, and when I came home, every single project, I had, like, six or seven cars knocked in the floor, pieces were everywhere, it was all mixed up, so I found most of them, I only found all these except for one, I had to replace a couple of tires, I had to do a bunch of stuff. And, uh, yeah, that kind of sucked. So, this one is missing, and, you know, it, it is what it is. It, I put it on this side, uh, so, you know, it kind of looked a little bit more legitimate to the damage, but, uh, I don't know. I had to do what, with, uh, what I had, because I don't have any spare of these. You would have to have a spare truck to get these, and I don't have any, so. That's why it is missing one. You got Toyota right there. A uh, bunch of bubbles and stuff on it from the heat, just from cutting the side. It bubbled it up a little bit. I got Tinder right there, Toyota. Got the 13, got the taillights back here. Uh, well, on this side, we have absolutely nothing. You can see the interior detail I did. You can see uh, the steering wheel is painted. You can see the roll cage on the other side. And the roll cage on this side is painted also. Uh, so there's kind of an interior look to how all of my trucks and cars look. So there's a, a pretty you know good idea of as to what's actually inside the car. Now, <laughs> yeah, these are super shredded. Now... How I did this was I just, I simply took a Dremel and just kind of drilled all the way around it, trying not to hit the centerpiece here, or the axle, 
and just kind of leaving a little bit left over. So yeah, there, <laughs> there's that. It's been a, it's been a very difficult custom to make. Oh, not difficult, but it was like really hard because like, uh, see, I tried to keep this part here, the A post, and I just, I, I, I messed up. I didn't keep all of it, and I tried to. I really did. So I got the same thing for this tire here. Got the, the just the, uh, the destroyed front in here. If I could talk, that'd be nice. Got the headlight there. What's left of it? Got the whole front end again, just destroyed. There is no splitter. <laughs> so yeah, this was a pretty wild raced version. Now I do not have the Coke 600, or not Coke 600, but the playoff tires. Uh, I could have used it, but I didn't think of it until after it was already put together because I forgot it was a you know it's got the banners and stuff. So I tried to mark it out as much as possible. You can hardly tell. Because, uh, you know, it's already marked out and stuff, so you can't really tell nonetheless. But we do have some contingencies over here, like we didn't have over on this side. Got Goodyear, Gander Outdoors, some of this is kind of hard to read. Holly Efi, Tilton, Comedic, Comedic, uh, Mobile One, as uh, Sherman Williams maybe. Uh, let's see, got the NASCAR race truck right there above that. You can barely tell, but it's there. Got Johnny Sauter on up on the name rail. Of course, you got that little yellow piece. Got Curb uh, right there. Got the window net down. Got Tenda, got a little bit of contingencies over here, which I cannot read to save my life. You can see the worn out tire here, and then there's a whole bunch of uh, race wearing damage right there on the back end. So, zooming out a little bit and flipping this car upside down, or on the side I guess, here is the detail we have for underneath. Again, it's the same thing I always do for my die cast. So again, here is the undercarriage. Now, I will not be able to do this on the next gen uh, Cup Series cars because there's no detail underneath. It's all smooth, which is quite unfortunate because I actually love doing the uh, the undercarriage and all that stuff. But we do have the axles and stuff, which re needs to be repainted. Like, that paint doesn't stay on very well, uh, so I do have to repaint the exhaust, as you can kind of see there. But, you know, I got the little a red tank, you got the little red uh, looking thing there as well towards the back end. You can see the two out of four tires underneath the car. Uh, so yeah, again, a very wild wreck. Now you may be wondering, will this be available for purchase on the bottom bag diecast eBay page? Yes, this will more than likely be in a way of a, I'm not really too sure which one just yet. But speaking of, uh, we will try to have one out next week, probably next Thursday. I still have two take pictures for two more cars i still have to make the actual like promotional video i've already i've already recorded uh the wave preview and all that good stuff this one will not be in it but it will be uh coming soon hopefully i've got a whole bunch of projects uh, i'm going to try to review all of them individually first now that i'm kind of getting caught up but i've got a lot more customs on the way also like for example i got the 2021 uh darlington race win from gregson I've got Jeffrey Earnhardt's Talladega a die cast. I got a Kyle Busch Bristol win from 2019, I believe, whenever the back end was all smashed up. I've still got the Truex and Custer Coda race version as a set. I still have those. Uh, let's see. I've got a Casey Kane 2013 Bristol win, I believe. Uh, I got a couple more. I got a... There's Daniel Hemrick for the Phoenix win back in 2021, so I've got quite the customs coming out very soon. Not to mention, I've already uh, made some more customs in the meantime, and I've already started some more projects, so we got a lot coming, so there's no worry about that. But anyway, with that being said, I do believe that'll be all for this custom die cash review, so thank you all so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.